Hey everyone, uh, Justin Ballard here with Heather Main. She actually flew down from Canada and I'm showing her the experiment where we're separating the hydrogen and oxygen particles in our local tap water. Um, now by doing that, we're able to see the hidden pollutants um, that are hidden in the water. And currently, um, looks like it's, it's off to a quick start. We're, we're seeing contaminants starting to show themselves. Now to figure out what the contaminants are, um, they have different shades of color. So green, red, black, white, uh, they all represent different things. So red, for example, would represent rust. Uh, green would come up to um, healthy items such as uh, sodium, uh, but could be something dangerous like arsenic. Uh, and then you have fluoride and that would be coming out as yellow. Uh, so this is going to be really interesting to see how this breaks out and um, what, uh, what we're going to see as we start testing the rest of our water. But as you can see, we have a pretty, pretty cool lab going on right now. Um, and this is because I've had a lot of problems with my own health and I needed to figure out what's the matter with me. So we're testing the voltage, uh, we're testing my medication, uh, my hair, uh, the food I eat, um, and especially the water I drink. Um, looks like we're about a minute and 25 seconds into it so far and the water is looking really nasty and uh, wow you're seeing a little bit of all the colors I even see some black in there uh, now black stands for heavy metals uh, what do you think of it Heather uh, I think that's pretty disgusting pretty disgusting yeah yeah I was doing some research and actually up in Canada uh, they use fluoride water as well and it's really interesting that um, since they've used fluoride, they started it in the 1950s, and so it goes into our groundwater, and so our vegetables, our food, everything that we grow is on fluoride water, and that fluoride stays in the, the food. Now, that food feeds our animals, our livestock, and so the food we eat, of course, now becomes fluoride, and then we drink our water, which has fluoride in it. And unfortunately, um, the filtration systems, the majority of uh, the people's homes, uh, for example, right now we have the pure water filtration here. It uh, doesn't pull fluoride out from the water, so it goes directly into your body. So we're getting fluoride in the, the basically the meat we eat, uh, the vegetables we eat, and the water we drink. And fluoride is actually good for you if you rinse with it in your mouth. It uh, prevents cavities, but you're not supposed to ingest it. Um, and the reason we know you're not supposed to ingest it is the majority of Europe um, even Israel has completely banned and forbidden fluoride because of tests coming back um, showing the damage that it does to your body, uh, especially your thyroid. And so here we are at 2 minutes and 55 seconds. And after seeing that, would that be a glass of water you would want to drink now, Heather? Definitely not. Definitely not. All right. Well, I can't wait to see um, what uh, the chemical analysis is going to be on this water and what we pull out of it. But from the local city reports, um, there's even TCP-123 in it, which is rocket fuel. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what we find. Uh, thank you everyone for watching.